So the only other thing is the hem. As a costume designer, you have to like people. You have to have a sense of humor. And you have to have a certain amount of tenacity. And the fourth thing you have to have is a little bit of luck. Hi, I'm Carrie Robbins. I'm a costume designer for the theater. Welcome to my world. I love to draw and I love telling stories. I love the theater. The process of design begins for me getting the job. You get the phone call. If it's a play, you're going to want to read it, maybe a couple times if you have time. Uh, if it's a, an opera, you're going to want to hear it if you don't already know it. If it's a dance piece, Whatever they can show you, you're going to talk to the choreographer. In The White Christmas, we had to make a turquoise paisley because we had two ladies wearing identical sisters' dresses. And Lord help the sister who comes between me and my head. This dress is near and dear to all of our hearts. It's a simple blue paisley, um, a kind of blue-green. We found 10 yards. The dress takes many more than 10 yards. The ruffles alone take an awful lot of stuff. It's just very dense. And if you know White Christmas and the famous sisters number, there's two of them. And we were doing three companies, so there were six of them. So we needed upwards of 75 yards. And we ended up with no other option but to make it. We made it in the computer which gave us the chance to actually print it on the kind of fabric we wanted. So this is a silk chiffon. This is actually a different kind of a silk satin. Um, it's a satiny chiffon. It's still sheer, but has a little more body, so the ruffles could be a little bit more perky. And then we were able to actually glue these little sparkly stones on top. From a distance, it's really very magical when the girls move. You catch these little, little tiny bits of light. This is uh, a Bible. We call it that because it's the most valuable organizational tool that we have. This is uh, a very rough sketch that I was trying to explain the way ruffles go onto the dress, this kind of wave pattern. And here is the shop trying to uh, reproduce that for me. This is the special fabric that we had printed and uh, another sample of it. And the Bible gives us all of the information, where we got the fabric, how much the fabric cost, uh, the, the trimming or detailing. This is a Xerox of the button we used so that we have a full record. And if you should have a hit and if you should be so lucky as to reproduce it, this is the tool you use to reproduce it. We make costumes so that they will last for eight shows a week, and I'm sure the producers would like those to go a year. So you multiply that out. Now, depending on what the actor slash dancer is doing in the costume and how long he's in it, it might not make it a year. We do do replacements, but we make it much firmer. It's stronger. It often has an entire interior to it, which can absorb sweat. That takes the edge and protects the more, more fragile fabrics on the outside. This is a, um, a dance dress for a big dance number that our dancing lead has. And we are very lucky. It has three different layers of shades. It's an old trick. She does a lot of twirling. She does a lot of what we call Spanish section. Oh, well, that's beautiful. So the colors were very important. Great. What I'm doing in the fitting is I'm making a sort of final adjustments by, by looking in the mirror to give myself some distance, to, to give me a sense of the person in the audience looking up. We are so close to being done. It looks fabulous. It really does. And when you twirl around, it's going to be stunning, yeah. Oh, see, so pretty, yeah. It's very nice. I, I don't think we can do better. <laughs> it's a dress to dance in, right? That's what it is.